All right, all right. What's going on, party people? This is your man, Griff. Yeah, doing a quick video here. <clears throat> well, maybe quick. I don't know. It might not be all that quick. Um, I'm just going to take my time with this one. Um, as you see the, the, the um, topic or the title of the videos, business to business communications. <clears throat> um, and I want to talk about three different topics and I'm going to have the topics up there on the screen and um, and I'm going to elaborate on them. Um, and this is something I've been thinking about for a while um, and been dealing with personally from <clears throat> the beginning of me on this coming out here on YouTube, just sharing. Um, but more recently, it's sort of, I won't say I've seen it a lot more or maybe have intense or increased or gotten worse. I don't know. Um, but it's three different areas that I see that are that are concerns to me when it comes to business to business communications um, out here. First of all, let me preface that if you look up business to business communication, you're going to see a lot about marketing. You're going to see a lot about systems, you know, computer systems and, and all of that, how employees from one company talk to another company and everything. But I'm more specifically talking about how business owners communicate with other business owners because what you need to realize is that that's what you are you became you got into this notary business you decided to be a loan signing agent slash notary signing agent slash whatever agent you want to call yourself today you you are the business so what does that mean that means you have to conduct yourself in a business standpoint now at this point people are probably sitting here trying to analyze well let me see if griff really acts like a business you first of all as a business owner you first concern yourself about you okay you first concern yourself about you and as you conduct yourself as the proper way in a business you will then notice when people other people aren't it's easy to say somebody isn't when you're also not doing it but can you pinpoint that okay i'm conducting myself in the proper way so a couple of areas that i think are very very important um well the main this first one is the biggest this 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 first one is the biggest that i've seen a lot when people are communicating and this is also let me back up a little bit this is also for those of you who are planning on being in um this notary education field um that you're planning on helping other notaries out educating them teaching them providing mentorship so forth and so on um this first one is very important because this if this isn't done correct then you're going to have some major major problems um when it comes time for trying to really trying to help people out and everything so no, i'll just check this out all right so one of the things and and i've experienced all three of these um the first one is full disclosure when asking a question hope i spelled everything right i think i did <clears throat> if i didn't all right we'll deal with it later full disclosure what i mean is this you know in the beginning, it happened a little bit here and there, but lately it's been happening a lot more. Um, once I got over about six or seven thousand subscribers, I guess more people started noticing me and. They would call, text, email, which is not a problem. And let me also say this is not me saying you cannot contact me or anything. You have not heard me say that I'm not saying that, but I'm trying to set some parameters so that I can provide you the best support possible. And so you don't get frustrated with me thinking that I'm blowing you off or thinking that I'm not giving you the answer that you want, okay? Or that you're seeking and everything. And I'm gonna get into that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you understand where I'm coming from with this. <clears throat> so full disclosure when asking a question, what I mean by that? I've been asked tons of questions by various notaries, men, women, um, black white <clears throat> all of that okay so this isn't race specific this isn't gender specific um or any of that what this is is a just a fundamental problem that i see 
across the board and and it goes out not just with the notary business but other businesses as well as just basic communication between people so y'all know i started doing all this talking my throat starts getting all dry let me get my little lozenge i know i'm gonna get to my point just 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 chill just chill okay we family here all right y'all know i'm very unscripted with my stuff so we good all right we good people we good so <clears throat> full disclosure when asking the question people will ask me and i'm gonna try to do my best not to even say what the question is because people didn't think that i'm coming at them okay and i'm gonna deal with that also a little bit later but i'm not trying to come at anybody but if i need to use a, a actual question to to highlight something then i will okay and this is not <clears throat> me coming at you plus whatever question that i use or example other people have asked okay so don't think that you're the only one that asked the question okay so people will ask me questions and they will say it in such a very general sense that i'm not really sure where they're coming from what angle or they'll say it in such a matter of fact like hey i just was asking about this question like you know do notaries in general need to do dot 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 or for you know or they'll say you know for loan signing agents or notary signing agents or whatever term they want to use do we need to do this do we need to buy that do we need to to, to get this that or the other in in our business and i'm like <clears throat> based off of the question that's being asked i'm giving an answer and then i hear people give a sigh or they'll suck their teeth or they get real real quiet and the vibe will change and i'm like okay what's wrong well that wasn't the answer i was looking for and this is from a man or a woman black or white whoever and i'm like okay but you asked the question didn't i answer it well see i was really asking it was really something more specific for me okay but you didn't say that you asked this general question that had nothing to do with you that you didn't specifically say was related to you or that there was a specific situation that you're in and you're thinking that this would help you out or you know whether or not this would be something that you should do you asked it in such a general sense that i'm like i'm not going to give you an answer that is going to say all notaries should do this or all notaries shouldn't okay just and here's one example many times i've been asked questions about should notaries do certain things for his marketing <clears throat> and i will answer the question whatever that whatever they ask i give the question but then come to find out the person is moving into from an escrow state to a title officer to a title state or a lot you know where you need a title producer license or an attorney state that's what i'm trying to say to an attorney state which operates way different so i'm sitting here like okay well why didn't you lead off with that why didn't you say that you were trying to um i'm sorry that's work coming in I haven't forgot my spot. No, it would have been assigned to me. Do, 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 do. All right. This must be somewhere way out in the boonies <laughs> for them to give me this. All right, I'll do this one. <clears throat> so, you know, they'll, they'll ask a question, but then when I give an answer, they're upset or they're not pleased with the answer or the response that I give. And then I'm finding out, oh, well, really, it was this is what I want. And there's several people have said, well, you know, I figured you would understand what I was saying. And I'm like, why would I understand what you're saying? How is it that I'm supposed to just you ask the question? Let's another one. Should notaries rent a car for their business? I see that you rent one. So should notaries rent a car for your for their business? That's a decision you got to make up on your own because I don't know your financial situation. I don't know, you know, whether, you know, do you already have a car? You know, I don't know. I don't, I'm like, but that most of the time what I say is that's a you, that's a you question that you need to um decide on. I can't give you the answer and say you should. I don't know whether notaries 
should, you know, whether I don't know. So I'm sorry, <clears throat> back up. I'm saying that I'm answering the question based off of what I'm saying. I don't know whether notary should. Then they'll come back and say, well, but you doing it, you know, I'm like, and then I'm, and then they're like, well, I was trying to figure out whether I need to or not. And I'm like, okay, well, you didn't say that. And I'm not in a position to tell you whether you should or shouldn't do this. So you asked me in general, and I gave you an answer that, well, I don't, I can't tell somebody whether, the, you know, notaries, whether they should. I'm like, that's something you got to figure out for yourself. And a lot of time the reply will be, well, I mean, you seem, you know, like you understand a lot of stuff and you're knowledgeable in things and, and you know a lot about this business. I just figured I asked you and you give me an answer. And I'm like, okay, what answer should I give you? And the answer is either yes or no. So you want me to give you a specific answer of yes or no, whether or not. Um, sorry about this, y'all. Oh, okay. Whether or not you should do something, I'm like, okay, well, first of all, you didn't ask me whether you should. You asked me should notaries, okay? You asked me should notaries do dot, dot, dot. That's up. I can't say that every notary should or shouldn't. You see what I'm saying? You know, people have asked me questions <clears throat> um, about legal stuff. I'm like, but they didn't ask me, you know, but the question they asked, they didn't define it. It was just a general question. And this is a question that I've been asked a lot. And I've never even thought about this personally. Should a notary get a lawyer? I don't know. I'm like, OK, that's something you should determine between you, your family. And any other entity, your accountant and all of that. You see what I'm saying? Should I get, you know, sh should notaries get a lawyer and then looking for a. So what I'm finding out is that there's a backstory behind these questions and notaries are asking me or these other notary business owners are asking or when I push back and I don't really give them the answer they want. It's like, well, I just thought you would be able to figure out what I meant. I thought you would, you know, understand how now keep in mind. And the reason why I'm talking about this is simply because with full disclosure, remember, we just know each other over this medium. You really don't know me. I really don't know you. So we need to develop a relationship to the point where we know each other a little better. That way I can sort of pick up and understand who you are and what you're talking about. But just a random phone call, a text or email doesn't always give the, the other person everything they need to know. That's why my videos sometimes are long, because I'm trying to really explain things and not just give snippets. I know a lot of people do clickbait communication. You know, I'm going to tell you something and then, OK, now you got to dig it out. And people who literally want is like. Well, I figured you would start asking me questions and then I would tell you the rest. I'm like, OK, first of all, you call me. You email me, you text me and you gave me a blanket question that really didn't describe anything. And now you want me to run behind you to figure it out so that I can give you the proper answer. That's not good business to business communication. That's not the way we should con conduct ourselves with each other. You, I mean. When you go, when you take your car to the mechanic and you go in there and they say, okay, what's the problem? Well, the car's not starting. You know, they're like, okay, can you elaborate on the details of that? What has happened? What's been happening? And then they, they try, they need you to tell them the full story. So you tell them where well, the car's stopping, it's just not working and you know i put some gas in the car and it was going fine and then all of a sudden it just died you know um but what you failed to tell them is that you accidentally put diesel in your regular gas car so they've been working on your car and you didn't fully tell them that and they're sitting up here and next thing you know you got a five thousand dollar bill and your car still isn't fixed because you didn't share with them 
didn't give them the full information now people are like when well, i ain't telling you all my business you're right you don't have to tell me all your business however if you're expecting me or any other person that you communicate with to be able to help you out but you only give in partial that's fine you could at least say well look i can't give you the full details behind why i'm asking this but i'm asking this question and i can only tell you this amount of information well at that point that's when i have to be able to determine whether i can or can't answer your question whether i can or can't say something but if i'm if you're asking me a question and making it as this is all the information i have about this subject this is everything there is boom answer and see i also have to be careful that i don't answer something the wrong way based off of what you ask if you ask me a question i then turn around and answer the question and then you're like and then you go off and execute based off of what i said and it don't work what are you going to say well griff told me to do this but you're telling everybody else well this is my situation you're telling everybody else your full situation and they're like well why would he give you that advice but you don't tell them you never told me that you see what i'm saying and this is the stuff that's going on and i'm like okay we got to stop this if we're going to really work with each other then cool now if you're the person where you don't want to be that open with another person then that's fine then you're really going to have to figure stuff out on your own do your own research all of that but you cannot sit here and have this veil of secrecy and then ask questions and the information you hiding is very pertinent in order for you to get the right answer when you talk to your financial planner whether you have one or not when you talk to a mortgage person when you talk to people who you try, <coughs> trying to rent a car from buy a car from rent an apartment or anything they want to know everything and if you hide information from them they're not going to be pleased so we even have affidavits in our loan packet that you're saying swearing under oath that you don't have any of these legal issues you don't have back taxes child support this that and the other that we don't know about because if you do we need to know about it in case something comes up that could prohibit you from paying the mortgage you sign that affidavit saying i do not have any child support issues i don't have any outstanding tax liens or debts to the u.s government and then next thing you know you getting hit with a two hundred thousand dollar bill for something or a hundred thousand or even fifty thousand or twenty thousand and you can't pay your mortgage for three four months the bank's gonna be upset like wait a minute, you said you didn't have these issues well i mean i it was something that was sort of in the works but i wasn't really sure okay why didn't you just be up front and tell us this is what i'm talking about with full disclosure okay i know i might this first part might have been signed a little all over the place but the bottom line what i'm trying to narrow it down to is this if you want true help for anything in your life whoever you're going to you got to be a little bit transparent not fully all the time but a little bit and in your conversations with them you can determine how much how transparent you need to be but at the same time there's some information that you probably could research and figure out on your own but if you're not the type of person that wants to study on your own you don't want to do you just want somebody to give you an answer that's going to be difficult that really is it's going to be difficult now part of the reason why a lot of these questions are popping up and i'm trying to go through my mind to see if i covered all the different areas that i really wanted to on this full disclosure but the bottom line is this i'm here to help my thing is also this here many of you who are reaching out to me and others okay this is not just a, a, a grip thing you're reaching out to other people it's probably is you've you've kicked out some money for courses and the people who you pay money to they're not being responsive they're not helping you they're not being available to you so you're like okay well i'm gonna go over here and ask this person the thing is you can't try to demand 
help from somebody as if you paid them when you didn't. And I'm going to cover that a little bit later, but I just want to throw that out there. Um, I'm not saying that I'm looking for pay. What I'm saying is if you pay somebody $500, $130 or whatever for a training course, you paying somebody X, Y, Z for mentorship and they act like they can't even get on the phone with you or, or what have you. And there's people who I do. And I know I got to respond to your emails and I'm working on that. Um, that's a problem. OK, that's a problem that you're going to have in a conversation that you need to have with them. <clears throat> that's why I keep saying be careful about just hopping out here, paying people to be your mentor. If they're not built for mentorship and built to really help you. Because all they really want is your money. And I'm going to cover that in the last part here. Now, number two, watch the videos. Part of the reason why people are calling and asking a lot of these questions is because they won't watch the videos. Part of the, and this leads into the business to business communication. You're like, well, what does that got to do with it? If you're barely watching the videos that I put out, or somebody else and then you're calling them because you just looked at two minutes of it because you, you're you, and i'm just gonna be straight with you. your attention span can't really expand beyond two minutes because you're you're in the clickbait mindset of videos then i don't know how you're going to going to get into this business and do it correctly i don't know how you're going to learn from anybody if everything has to be summarized in two minutes or less and then you're like, okay, got it. And you really don't. So people will, will, will look at the video halfway or barely halfway. And then will call me and start asking me questions about information that's in the video that they haven't even looked at. I'm like, okay, look at the rest of the video. What I figured, I just called you to get all the answers. Okay, but. Everything that I would answer you and tell you right now is in the video. What's the problem with looking at the video? <clears throat> well, there's no problem looking at the video. I just figured I just get you to tell me. And I'm like. I got over 300 videos out there, I think, or close to it. The other thing that people have been doing, and this is, and I'm talking, and these are the ways you don't communicate with people. They have content out there for you to read and review, to look at, and you refuse to, but then you want to make them answer your questions. And yes, I've come out there and said, I'm here to help. But let me, let me, let me, let me, before I go to my next point or in this part where I know I've made the mistake. Is that I assumed, just like you assumed that I wouldn't know what you're thinking when you asked me, should everybody get a lawyer? Should notaries um, have an office space, you know, uh, rent a space? Should notaries have a mobile printer? You know, they asked me this in general, like, should all notaries do? But you think that I know that you're really meaning you. I assumed to my fault. I assume that if I put videos out discussing a subject, trying to break things down, that you would look at the video and then because there was something wasn't totally clear to you in the video, you would then contact me and ask. I wasn't saying. Find out that Griff is here. Look at a, a tenth of a video. And then call me and get all the answers, you know, one on one and this, that and the other. I was expecting that people would look at the videos. And if the video, if there was an aspect in the video <coughs> that wasn't completely clear to you. Then call in, at, you know, OK, yeah, hey, Griff, I need some help with this. I want to clear. I, I'm fine with that. But what I'm finding out is that people aren't looking at the videos at all. And trust me. I have ways of asking questions to know whether or not you looked at the videos. Okay. 
So don't sit here and think, okay, well, I'm going to just say I looked at the video and then ask these questions because if you, depending how you asking questions, that tells me you didn't look at the video. And there have been people who have looked at the video and I'm like, okay, I said that in the video. What, what, you asked me a question that I clearly said in the video. Matter of fact, the vi whole video was about this subject. And now you're asking me as if you you didn't learn anything. What's the problem? You see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like, what's what's what didn't you get? You know what I'm saying? So I so at that point, I'm going to be asking questions. So you need to ask videos. Also, a lot of people will look at my video partly and then go look at somebody else's video completely. And then ask me questions about whether or not what they said in their video was correct. I don't I'm not doing a comparison and contraction between my video and somebody else's. You know, I have a great loan doc overview video that has over 43,000 views. I don't see any reason. I don't see any reason for me to have to go and review somebody else's um, to compare and to, to understand, to, to determine whether or not they said something correct. Whether somebody doing that to mine, I don't care, but I'm that's not what I'm going to. I'm not going to sit here and do that and then talk to you and say, OK, well, here's where so and so was wrong at. And there's and here. I just know what I need to put out. And I will leave that up to you and everybody else to look at my video, to look at his, her or them video and determine whether or not the information is correct. Now, you can also determine that whether it's correct or not by learning the subject matter yourself. Which goes into another caveat, probably for this last point, is that this thing that everybody keeps saying, I learn, I can only learn by physically doing. You cannot just, you cannot physically learn notary. You cannot learn how to do loan closings by just physically doing because there's information you need to understand up here so that when you see a situation down there with the paperwork, you'll be able to recall and re reach back and say, okay, here's the answer. Just repetitively doing stuff, all that does is get you conditioned, not necessarily learning. You get conditioned to do things a certain way, like men with football. You just get conditioned 10 yards in. Get your hands up. Catch the ball. Do a post. Do a hook and ladder. All that stuff. You just get conditioned for that. Stand in the corner, Ray Allen, shoot the three. You get conditioned. Now, he learned how to shoot the three, but he was conditioned that, okay, I go here. It's just such a second nature. And a lot of people are trying to do notary from the standpoint of, well, I'm just going to do it uh, so much that it just becomes second nature. Here's the thing. There are a lot of people who are physically doing the act of loan closings. But when you look at Facebook, they're not asking questions about the physical act of doing loan closing. They're asking questions about how to deal with certain things that they should have learned and they didn't. So you can't say that the only way I can do notary is or, or learn notary is that I got to actually do it. There's plenty of people who are actually doing this business and they don't know Jack. They don't know what they need to know in order to do this stuff successfully and accurately. And that's why so many notaries now are seeing lower fees and you're not getting notifications because they're like, OK, we see that notaries in this realm of experience don't know Jack. We ain't messing with them. It's that simple. And then the notaries who have experience, who have proven that they understand what to do as a notary. They're doing fine. They're making the money that they need to make because people are relying on them because they know what they're doing. So the physical act of doing. Loan closings does not make you fully better without the knowledge of what you have to deal with. 
if you don't understand the notarization part you can sit there and phys the our physical act of doing the loan closing is really making sure that they sign and we do our part as a notary it's not really centered on all of the document presentation but let's just say it is let's just say that's what we're supposed to do so you're doing that you're watching videos like the, the, the thing says right here. You're watching videos of how to present the document, but you ain't watching videos on how to notarize the documents, which I have a video up there in my playlist, Notary Basis, that talks about how to deal with acknowledgement. So you don't know that. So now you're going out and you're physically doing the art of loan closings. So you think of presenting the documents. I'm presenting the documents. But none of the documents can get executed because you ain't having them sign documents. You're having them print their names. You're not stamping the documents. You're not, I mean, you're not doing any of the stuff that you're supposed to do legally when notarizing the document. But you would learn that, at least from me, if you watch my videos. So if you watch the videos, you will learn. But what people are doing, they're just looking, they're glancing at the videos and like, well, I'm going to ask him. And now here's another thing that people do. They will look at the videos completely and fully and then start and start asking me questions on the, on the subject matter that I've already covered in the video. And then when I asked them, when I answered the question, they were like, oh, well, that's the same thing you said in the video. So I'm like, wait a minute, you looked at the video? Yeah. Okay, so why are you asking me questions about what I said in the video? Well, I wanted to see if you was going to say the same thing. Now, that ticks me off. I haven't done it, but you might get hung up on <laughs> the next time. I'm just being real with you. Because that doesn't make a lick of sense that if you at, if I covered a subject about acknowledgments how to do the not acknowledgments correctly and then you ask me a question about acknowledgments and then say well i just wanted to see if you was going to say the same thing that's bull okay that ain't right again business to business communication that ain't right in any way shape or form that is very disrespectful and i don't i mean one person you know asked me questions and i gave them the answer and they're like well yep that's the exact same thing you said in your in your video i'm like so what you think i'm lying i asked him i said what you think i'm lying i'm like why did you ask i've already answered the question in the video why did you ask me that and it literally i'm like well if i don't ask the question i don't know i'm like but there's nothing for you to ask if it's already been answered if the question has been answered, why are you asking it again just to see and see? That's why I said, OK, y'all must be some agents for people. Y'all must be some agents for folk out there who who must be upset with me about what I'm doing or just the information I'm sharing and all of that. Um, it must be hurting somebody's financial pocket. So y'all trying to you know trip me up and catch me in something. And I'm like that. I don't I, you know. I've always been prepared for it and I'm, I'm always on the lookout for it, but I'm like, come on. I'm like, nah, if you watch the videos and especially since many of you say that it's so, and also this here, a lot of people who've been contacting me lately, they're not even set up to do loan signings. They haven't done the NNA um, background check. They haven't done the, um, the signing agent test. They haven't even gotten their stamp yet, but they're asking all these questions and I'm like, if you got you got all this time, look at the videos. Where did that go? There it is. Watch the videos. Watch the videos. Because what you ask me one on one, I'm going to say the same thing that I said in the video. Watch the videos. If you haven't even gotten yourself together to the point that you could go out and take a signing today, get learned, get educated. Stop worrying about looking at all of those beef videos between all of these people out here on YouTube and spending three, four hours a day doing that 
and watch the videos. Watch the videos and you'll learn and then you'll be better prepared. I'm telling you this because there have been so many people, the overwhelming majority of the people <coughs> who are who are subscribed to the channel, who have really gone out there, looked at the videos, then came and asked me questions of, for clarification of something I said in the video, then turned around and went out there and started tearing it up and making the money. The fellas, the ladies, the blacks, the whites, the Asians, the, uh, the I think one gentleman might be Pakistani in, um, one gentleman might be Indian. I mean, there's all kinds of people. OK, and I appreciate every single one. But the formula is learn, not just get stuck on physically doing, but learn content and the information. And then as you physically do the act of loan closings, the information that you have when you say, oh, wait a minute. This isn't right. That ain't right. <coughs> but I know what to do. This is OK. Yep. This needs to be fixed. Oh, this is. <coughs> oh, I didn't realize this was a split signing. Not a problem. I know what to do. That's where I want you to be at. I want you to be in a situation that when you get there and you're looking and you're like, I know what to do. If you can't do that, then then then, then something's wrong. If you pay any dollar amount for anybody's training course and you can't say, I know what to do, there's a problem. I'm not going to say you need to go get your money back, but I'm just saying. I know what to do. That's where you need to be at. If you're not there, if you're not, I know what to do. There's a problem. And I'm saying this over and over again for a reason, because you don't know what to do. See, I didn't put the finger up that time. You're like, I don't know what to do. And this is where everybody. Oh. I believe my videos can help, but you got to watch them. My apologies for not having more organized, more concise. But if you haven't even gotten your stuff, you're still sitting here waiting for your notary commission to come in and it's going to be three, four weeks. <clears throat> That's more than enough time for you to sit down and look at the videos. More than enough time. Look at the videos. NNA training tells you, read the instructions. After you read the instructions, put together a list of questions. But don't sit there and look at the title of a video and then put together a whole list of questions based off the title and you ain't even looked at the video and you're like, well, I need to know this. I need to know that. What do I do in this situation? What do I do? I'm like, loan doc overview videos. It's two of them out there and an acknowledgement video. Look at them. Look at them. I'm telling you, if you're a Virginia notary and you want to try to understand about whether you should collect closing funds, look at the LSA versus NSA video. It breaks it all the way down with examples and everything look at the videos okay now this last one this last one might be more this one might be a little touchy <laughs> subject for some videos are not targets oh let me let me eat you I think that's where I need videos are not targeted to any person. That's what I was trying to say. <clears throat> what I mean by that. <clears throat> I've shared this before. When I do videos, it's based off of me hearing about a problem multiple times. If I hear about a video, if I hear about an issue, a lot of times I don't do a video about it the very first time, unless it's something very, very simple severe um uh, let me take this hold on
All right, party people. Sorry about that. Um, this was a young lady that called, um, new um, signing agent, and she's an example. And I even told us, told her I was doing the video. She's an example of what I was just talking about in <clears throat> over here in step two. She was just telling me how she's getting her stuff together, and in the process, she's actually watching the videos <clears throat> and learning what she needs to do by watching the videos not just calling saying tell me this tell me that so that is that is what i'm talking about okay so I apologize for the little intermission there now this here people have been okay well, let me go back i do my videos based off of the issues that are at hand as a notary and this is with anything as you get better you the person your mistake level is going to be fewer and fewer so for me to say i'm gonna do videos primarily on my issues or my mistakes after a while it might be here then it gets here then it, i'm trying to get it to zero so what i deal with is i say okay well as people share stuff with me <clears throat> i'm gonna research it <clears throat> i'm gonna look into it try to find out the answer and a lot of times as i'm researching it i start hearing a second one and a third one and a fourth one and a fifth one and I'm like, okay, this is a problem. Then they say, well, this problem, this question keeps popping up over here in Facebook. Can you answer it? Then I'm getting, you know, people calling and I'm like, okay, I need to do a video about it. Here's what's been going on lately. And it's been happening probably for about three months. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, people like, they'll call me and ask me for help. And then they'll say, and a lot of times they'll lead off, don't do a video about this. Or really what they're saying is, or what they've said don't do a video about me and i'm like i don't think i've ever came out and said somebody's name i don't recall and if i did my apologies um i'm not doing videos about you because you asked me a question what you need to understand is by the time i've done a vi i do a video yes you might have been the last person i spoke to on that subject but other people have talked to me about it <clears throat> and y'all know how busy I am. I hear, I hear some, a, a, a topic or some issue. There's stuff that I'm, I'm, that I've heard way back in February, March, and April that I haven't even done a video on cause I haven't had time. And I'm still trying to get stuff together. There's an issue right now with Ron notary stuff that I'm, I'm itching to do a video on, but I'm doing some research to try to get all this stuff together. Now, what can happen is that at the time that I actually go ahead on to do the video, somebody will call, text or email, and then we'll discuss that situation. And then I'm putting out a video about it. And then the person's thinking that I'm doing it based solely off of them. And that's not the case. So what I've been doing is if somebody calls and talks to me about a subject, I let them know. I say, yeah, that's yeah i've been thinking about doing a video on that so they will know that i'm not picking on them or targeting them here's this is my perspective on this and i may be thousand percent wrong one i'm not picking or targeting a person or trying to make you feel bad about dealing with what you're dealing with concerning this second the majority of the people who are calling and with the issues that they have you know that y'all have taken courses from other people and this goes all the way back to what i'm saying i was saying earlier you're paying these people for these courses and they're not educating you correctly and you can't get in contact with them in order to even get help so then you contact me and not everybody's like this i'm mean i mean this so don't take it this way but and it's only i mean when i say my new it's only a small portion of people is like they I, they they try to make me feel or, <clears throat> or at least i feel that make trying to make me feel like i'm obligated because i said hey i will help and that's where the issue that i know that i made the mistake where i should have been more clear which i figured you would understand that okay look at the videos and then if you don't understand the videos hit me up and i think i've said that sometimes but i didn't emphasize it enough so it's like hey you said you would help help me okay but you paid them and they're not helping you but you i'm like okay so and then you're not giving me full disclosure see goes all the way back to that so you're asking me to help you want help and i'm like okay 
but now you're telling me don't say anything about it i'm like okay well i'm not going to say anything about you but i probably will talk about this subject because it's going to help the masses now this is what i personally think that is going on and it's pretty slick it's pretty slick with these people who are saying they're mentors and and i think people are saying, want this exclusivity of you help me out and i got the answer and nobody else has and that's a huge problem within this business is that everybody's trying to get a leg up on the other they're trying to get some kind of secret sauce information and they want to be able to say that nobody else knows what i know and i'm going in here and, and i'm making all this money and then i can brag about it that i'm making all these dollars and some people are probably doing that and some people have probably paid to get information from their notary trainer or someone else and they're holding it close to their chest and they're making a ton of money and then now they're trying to make everybody else pay them for that information which goes into the don't talk about the video or don't talk, don't do a video about what we talked about okay i could do that but it won't help people out in general because it'll only be information that was between me um you and me but here's what happened or this is what i believe is going on you have some smart industrious person that says well i can give you the answer but you gotta pay me two hundred dollars you like okay and then they're like oh i was just saying that i didn't expect it and then you go and tell your buddy hey yeah you know i ain't even gonna make up a name normally y'all know i make up names i ain't even gonna make up a name because somebody might be named that as a notary and then be coming at me and then next thing you know so-and-so notary mentor dude or girl you know you're telling everybody about them and then next thing you know all these people are like okay asking questions they're asking the same question and that person is just getting paid left and right and that's what's what i believe is happening so if you're paying me three hundred dollars two hundred dollars five hundred dollars to get exclusivity to me and to get help hey what's up son then you turn around and then i turn around and give that information out for free put it on a youtube channel to other people you're gonna be mad man i paid you know we'll just use me i paid griff three hundred dollars you know for helping me out and now that information that he gave me he done put it out there on youtube and everybody else is getting it for free and i paid him that's what i believe that's going on and if that's what you want you want that exclusivity of talking with somebody who you can get an answer for your issue that you think is only going to be that you only going to be the one that has that solution i'm not the one to talk to you're going to have to pay them people whatever money they want to be paid and there's plenty of them out there and they will be more than happy to take your money but if you contact me and i see this is a subject that needs to be dealt with that people need to be educated on to help them out overall as a <clears throat> community <clears throat> I'm going to research it and put together information to help them out because <clears throat> due to the fact of this onesie twosie, this person, no information, that person doesn't know information. I'm keeping it over here. I ain't sharing it over there. You have this problem of people constantly going into the same problem over and over again. And then the notary signing companies, the signing agents, the I mean, signing companies, the, the loan officers, the escrow officers, the title officers are tired of seeing the same problem repeat itself. So what I'm trying to do is eliminate the repetition of these problems. But I understand you want exclusivity. You want this privacy and all of that. You don't want nobody to know, which I'm not telling anybody your name, but you don't even want the subject brought up because if somebody else knows that this is how to resolve that this is how you go about notarizing and not make this mistake then that means everybody else will 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 know how to do it right and that might create more competition for me and then i can't get money if that's the whole point you know and again like i said i'm not trying to embarrass you or put you down or any of that and i do apologize if that's the way it came across 
or that what you think and i sincerely don't believe that i did but if you think that i did i apologize but my goal here is to help people out it's not about me extracting money from y'all because the majority of the people who watch my channel are women and i'd be daggone if i have earl jones i'm just throwing a name out there non-notary husband named earl jones or whoever or back in the day you know the lonnie james and you know some smooth brother you know he'd come rolling up on me like yo man why my wife paying you all this money for notary help <laughs> i ain't got time for that okay i don't know your family dynamics i ain't got time for some for some dude's wife getting mad at me talking about he paying you all this money and my baby's hungry and we can't even send my kid to to basketball camp because he had to pay you all this money for for just getting a simple answer to one question i don't want to be in that scenario now other notaries they cool with that they don't care about whatever they just they want the money and they got these virtual offices so you wouldn't be able to find them anyway <laughs> okay that ain't me so my videos are not targeted to any person <coughs> okay any person or persons i should have put the little apostrophe s or the parentheses with the s i meant to say it's not my <clears throat> my videos are primarily focused on getting the proper information out there to help notaries in general so that we can reduce and eliminate these constant errors you see the errors those of you who are still playing around in facebook you see it <clears throat> now this here part of the of what i'm talking about been on for almost an hour and i'm gonna close this thing out those of you who run facebook groups those of you who run facebook groups you need to do videos you need to take an, an inventory of what are the questions that are constantly being asked over and over again and you need to do a video explaining the correct way to do these notarizations you could use my video you could use somebody else's video but you i think it will be more impactful if you sat down did a video answering those questions and then putting it on your facebook channel and making it a requirement for them to watch and look at and learn from before they even join your your um your facebook group that needs to happen and that is not happening in my opinion across the board overall what people are doing is saying oh if you need to know more go sign up for this course go sign matter of fact click my affiliate link please bump your affiliate link okay we tired of all this affiliate link stuff give people some real education out there if you run in a facebook group educate the people teach them stop all of this foolishness of trying to continue constantly extract money from people if you paying for a facebook group paying for a face i don't even know why you're doing that that's a whole nother topic i ain't even no nah, I, I ain't even gonna get into that but my point is simply this if you run in a facebook group and you're constantly seeing this these questions and then you're seeing all the back and forth and people putting down folk and you're going to sit here and spend all this energy trying to tell people remember the, the community guidelines remember the facebook group rules just do a video explaining how to do the notarizations or whatever it is correctly and that will help everybody do that and that is to the Facebook group people. That's why I got out of a lot of the Facebook groups. I'm not against the Facebook groups from the standpoint that I don't think they can help. But it's too many people in there talking smack, cussing at folk and all of that. And it's like, I ain't got time for this. Let me just focus on my channel. And I think I might be in one or two other Facebook groups where I haven't heard no anybody getting cussed out at. So I'm, I'm like, okay, I'll stay in those. But other than that, the rest of them, and I don't really, it's not, it's not fully the person who's running it because I know they're doing it out of good intentions. But you got to step your game up and put these people on blast and be like, look, you out. 
okay, listen, whoever you asking these same questions over and over again, a launch to note doesn't need to be signed by anybody. The IRRL doesn't need to be signed. Lender certification doesn't need to be signed. What don't you get and understand with that? Because if you don't understand that and you keep asking the same question, then maybe you need to stop being a notary. But you can teach these people. You can teach them. Use that Facebook group instead of worrying about flossing and showing how cute you are and how handsome you are and all of that. And bragging about, yeah, I just made these dollars for, you know, 10 minutes of work. Okay, that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. But if the people in that Facebook group don't really know what the heck they're doing, I think you have a responsibility and obligation to ensure that those under your umbrella know what the heck they're doing. <coughs> it's that simple. But I know you're going to say, well, that, I'm just I'm just neutral. I'm just putting a group up just to help people out. You know, that's it just a community you know just but nobody's getting helped out people getting bashed people getting put down but then you think my videos are targeted to somebody when you go on a facebook group they're actually coming at you i'm not coming at anybody i'm coming at the issue at hand to help you out so my videos aren't targeted to anybody they're there to help out <coughs> so to close out this the Full disclosure, you want help from anybody. Full disclosure, why are you asking the question? What is it concerning? What's the background? Is it really for you? Don't have me because I'm not going to run down the rabbit hole of trying to figure out what's in your in your brain and why you are asking the question. And I wouldn't expect anybody else to do the same. So full disclosure about what you're talking about. Watch the videos. Look at the videos. And learn from them. That's it. And if there's something that I didn't clarify or maybe I need to clarify more, let me know. And y'all know I've done that multiple times. Videos aren't targeted to you. <coughs> These other people out here, they're, they're, they're sitting up there having you talk to them, collecting your money. They'll keep it to their chest and they'll say, and you might even be going around telling people, yeah, don't talk, don't, don't, don't call a girl. Don't, don't ask a girl. Cause if you do, he going to do a video about it. He going to, he going to be doing a video about you and nah, nah, you know, uh, nah, 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 go over here, go pay, go, go pay so-and-so $200 and he'll give you the answer and you ain't got to worry about a video being done. So if you, so you rather get a, I can give you the same answer that that person could give you and you could save $200. Or you can pay them two hundred dollars, and, and I don't do a video about the subject. Either way, it goes somewhere along the line. Somebody's going to talk to me about the subject. But keep this in mind: whatever issue you're going through, the information that I will share that we discuss and learn and figured out this is the correct way to do it can help somebody else out. Just like the issue that they're going through, and then I talk to them and we discuss it and we figure out what's the correct way to work this thing out. And then I share it on the channel. It can help you out. So if I keep all this stuff to myself. That's just a whole bunch of knowledge in here. I mean, if I quit doing this YouTube today, if I bounce on up out of here on a more permanent basis. At least this information is out there to help people. Long term. That's what I'm about. I'm not about just gathering information and knowledge for myself and just holding it in for myself that's those other people and they're going to be all and it's going to always be people like that and you can go hang out with them you can be with them and cuddle up with them and all of that but when it really matters they ain't going to be there for you and they know it as well as you know it but if you want that temporary gratification that a video wasn't done concerning the subject because you think that somebody's picking on you or targeting you then they're there for you and whether i get another phone call from anybody whether i get another text message or anything is inconsequential to me that's not why i'm here i'm here to help and as i go through this here business i'm going to learn things that i'm going to be able to share with you and I know somebody's going to there's going to always be somebody who's willing to call me and to get help 
and they're not going to have an issue with me sharing their struggle and the solution that they found or that we may have found together <clears throat> and a lot of times they t they come call me and tell me they found a solution and educate me on something they're not there's so many people out here that are for you and for us notaries in general and people come and tell me hey do a video on this do a video on that that y'all don't even realize and then i do a video and then you're like well i just talked to griff about that you you must be mad at me i'm not mad at you i'm mad at the fact that you had to go through your notary life not knowing how to do this that you weren't properly educated, that somewhere along the line, you spent more than $1 for somebody's knowledge and that that knowledge didn't help you in this situation. And you had to give me a call to get, get it corrected because they wasn't available to you after you spent money with them. That's the sad part. That's the sad and hurtful part. <clears throat> it really is. and i'm done <laughs> that's that's it i'm gonna leave it at that all right y'all have a good one go out here and do the rest of my work peace <laughs>